Well, we talk about people staying or going. Those that have decided to stay, they continue to board their homes. They do the prep work in advance of a storm. And even though the heaviest of Dorian is not going to make uh, a huge impact on the Charlotte area, that's really good. But this is always a good time to talk about being prepared. What do you need? If it's not a storm now, there's going to be a storm again. And Sean Fancook, owner of Advanta Clean of Cabarrus in Rowan County, with us today. Sean, welcome back, my friend. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you We much. were sitting here this time last year. Yeah with Florence on its way, and I spent the afternoon, after you left, uh, feeling kind of guilty and motivated. I hadn't cleaned my gutters. I hadn't prepared anything in my home for the amount of rainfall. What do people need to do, regardless of Dorian right now, what do we need to do with our homes? Because you were telling me it seems like people prepare their businesses, but not their homes. Yeah, we see a lot of uh, lack of general home maintenance and uh, the gutters, downspouts, properly working gutters and downspouts uh, and extension drains like we have here okay. uh, are critical year round, not only during uh, hurricane season, but uh, as waters come in, you want to make sure you're directing that water as far away from your house as possible. So having a good drainage system uh, will uh, help yeah. you keep the water away from your foundation and get yeah. into your crawl space. And uh, we see that as a general home and item year round. Well, that's a great idea. You brought in some heavy duty kind of plastic and duct tape. What, what can this be used for? So we, you can use that to stop water as well as, as part of a sandbagging system. Okay. So if you've got doors or, and windows or low lying areas that are uh, uh, subject to flooding, get your, a good sandbagging system in place and uh, you can put the uh, block the door with the plastic before seal it yeah. up with the duct tape and then get the uh, sandbags oh, up against it. Oh, that's smart. Okay, what are we doing with the, with the bug sprayer if, here? If you get a little bit of water in there, that's an antimicrobial solution just used for cleaning. Uh, we've got some rags as well, but uh, the uh, you know just trying to get it cleaned out as quick yeah. as possible. We've got the towels there as well as you're trying to get the water out as quick as possible, but then using a good uh, cleaning solution to uh, to get it cleaned up to make sure you're not having any mold growth yeah. start, anything like that. Sean, listen, our time is short this morning because of what we're dealing with, but the key is to prepare before something comes, not after, and then you have to make the call, which is what you guys are certainly known for. Uh, you can go online to find out more um, with them if you'd, like to, uh, if you'd like to know more and get your proof of insurance, all the things you need in your home before a storm ever hits. Sean, thank Thanks for coming.